There is never a reason for you to not do what we're going to teach you how to do in this tip because it is the number one way to improve your defense overnight in Madden 23. It doesn't really matter what offense you're defending, whether you're defending under center, whether you're defending bunch, whether you're defending tight, U trips, trips tight end, spread, compressed, two by two, three by one, under center, does not matter. Today, I'm going to give you a tip that will immediately, immediately improve your defense and it will improve it every single year. Now, um, we're going to be talking today about a tip out of the 46 defense playbook. If you want to get my entire 46 defensive ebook, uh, we've got an entire uh, Patreon filled with, I think, over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10 to do so, and it will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the ebooks that we're going to um, release uh, can, throughout the summertime to get you ready for Madden 24. So great time to be a Patreon member because you get access to all the stuff from Madden 23, as well as a lot of stuff it's going to get you ready for Madden 24. So uh, let's talk today. Like I said, I want to give you one tip that if you do this one thing, okay, one simple tip, it will immediately make your defense 10 times better, okay? Uh, so we're in the 46 playbook, and you can do it out of any, any defense, okay? It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to come out in tight slots, and we're going to use dollar because I do think it is the best illustration, illustration for this, but I'm going to show you how you can do it out of other formations as well. So the way I like to run dollar is on base align. We've got an entire ebook teaching DB Fire 2 uh, and really dollar in a really high level uh, in the Patreon. But essentially, we're going to press our coverage. And the reason we press is just to get that slot corner down. And we're going to get this really, really good pressure. But you might notice something um, that's really, really important. Number one, your user in this game, can't it can't cover both the left and the right side. So in this example here, I'm going to cover, you know, maybe i got to cover that tight end drag route. So if I go to the cover that tight end drag route, like in that example, okay, I'm able to stop the drag. The problem becomes... Um, if I, let's say for example, I kind of sit on that drag route to a degree, then what I'm going to be able to do is I can just throw this over and over and over again as soon as I see that your user's in the middle of the field. And this is really the beauty of, of this defense. Basically, if I look at this and I see that that slot cornerback is going to come on a blitz, let's say I do something like this route combination right here, one of my favorites, right, something like this then I immediately can throw this streak and that yellow zone can't really do a whole lot about it, okay? So how do we counter this? It's actually really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna walk these safeties down between six to 10 yards off of the ball, off the line of scrimmage. And what they're gonna do is now they are in the vicinity in the uh, field of play. And so this now is all of a sudden not able to be thrown against compression sets. This also is really, really important for the way a lot of people like to run offense this year's game. One of the primary concepts that a lot of people like to run uh, this year is some type of slant post concept in the middle of the field. When you bring these guys down, it really uh, does a lot for defending that. So let's say, for example, they're running, um, let's just say, a concept that looks like this. Okay, watch this poster out in the middle of the field. You're going to see, yes, I can't throw that in the middle. I've got safety help. I've got linebacker help. It's a hard throw to make in the middle of the field. Just by bringing these safeties down, it's the only thing you have to do. Now, another thing that this does when you bring these safeties down is, let's say, for example, that you wanted to man them up. So in this example here, I'm going to man my safety up, and then I'm going to drop a cloud uh, or an outside quarter or something uh, to help over here on the left side and the opponent is going to go to the patented flood play which is really really good uh, so something like this this man up will actually play much 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 better if you bring him down in the box so that he can't basically get super one against if you leave this guy backed off about 15 yards the problem with leaving him backed off about 15 yards is just in the simple fact that you're going to see this this uh, cut from the slot receiver will be significantly more effective. So what you'll see here, he'll cut, and now I'm able to have that window even against one step ahead, even against a KO. I at least have a window to get the ball to it. 
So this doesn't just apply to dollar and it doesn't just apply to zone coverage. It applies to man coverage, it applies to match coverage, literally applies to everything you're gonna do. And this is part of why 3-3 Cub was so effective and is still a really good defense. We've got an entire ebook on this uh, in the Patreon as well. But what you're gonna notice with this defense is if I were to call, um, let's say, you know, match coverage, and I was to press this coverage, look at the depth of the safeties. The depth of the safeties is it's inside that 10 yard mark. They're about nine yards off the ball. And you'll notice they will actually play significantly better because they are more up in the box. They can lurk routes significantly better. So the same thing is also true in man coverage. And if I wanted to bring them down even a little bit more, that could be helpful. Now we also know there's some benefit to not playing, playing press man coverage this year. Like basically playing a shade outside coverage and you know setting some pressure like this but the beauty is you can have the best of both worlds and here's how you're going to come out call your play and then just like in dollar you're going to walk these safeties down now you still have that kind of unique alignment that is in 3-3 cub the beauty of this is now you know as you can see here everybody's in a good position to be able to make a play on the ball and the blitz comes in before anybody can get open the same is true also for any kind of mabel coverage um like this for example out of three three cub that's really really popular this little double flat mabel concept that a lot of people like to run for a coverage defense really well um very effective whenever you have these safeties because now this crosser is going to have to deal with that safety in the middle of the field that if he touches him it's going to be a ko so the number one tip to take your defense to the next level overnight in Madden is to bring your safeties in between nine or uh, 10 to six to 10 yards off the line of scrimmage, bring them inside and down, and it will significantly help you defend the middle of the field. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out my entire 4-6 defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.